Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. All of us as photographers have accidentally deleted a photograph or we've had a hard drive full of images crash. And thankfully often we have a backup and we could just restore those lost photographs from the backup or we use some type of recovery software to get them back. But every now and then I hear from a photographer who didn't back up their images or the recovery software isn't working, well, what can they do? Well, if they're a Lightroom user, there is something they could do. Now, they're not going to be able to get back the original RAW file, but if they have images of their children when they were growing up, or maybe of a loved one who has passed, or maybe they have undeniable photographic proof that Bigfoot exists, but they've accidentally deleted all those images, well, if you're a Lightroom user, I could help you, and I'm going to show you how. Now, as you can see, I have Lightroom open, and I have a couple images in the film strip. And if we look closely at those photographs, you'll see in the top right-hand corner, there's a little exclamation point. And if I hover on that exclamation point, it will say, Photo is Missing. If I jump over to the Develop module, it will say at the top, the file could not be found. And then you'll see everything on the right is grayed out. So I can't edit this image. I can't export the image. I can't do anything with it because the photograph is missing. Now, if you accidentally didn't delete it, you just moved it somewhere, you can just click on that little exclamation point and it will say, do you want to show me where it is? Basically locate it. Click locate and you can navigate to where it is on your system and then Lightroom will say, oh, okay, there it is. And then you found it. But what if it is accidentally deleted forever? Like these two images are. What can you do? Well, you're looking at them, right? We're in Lightroom and we could see the image. So there must be an image somewhere. Well, of course there is. When you imported the images into Lightroom, Lightroom built previews for those images and it stored those previews in the Lightroom catalog. Adobe makes a tool that allows you to extract the previews from the Lightroom catalog. Now, again, they're not going to be the original RAW files. They're preview files. They're going to be JPEGs but at least you'll have something. Now, what you need to do is go to Adobe's website and in the description below this video, I'll have a link to this web page. On this web page, you could see it explains it all right here and it says, get file. You need to download this file to your computer. Once you download that file to your computer, you need to load it or you need to put it in a specific folder. To get to that folder, go to Lightroom settings if you have a Mac, Lightroom Settings is under the Lightroom Classic menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. So we're going to go to Lightroom Settings. And then over here, right here on the Presets tab, you'll see Show All Other Lightroom Presets. Click on that, and it will bring you to the Lightroom folder. We need to put a folder inside of this folder, but we're going to close Lightroom down first. So we don't need to be looking at Lightroom, and Lightroom should be closed when you're doing this. So we have Lightroom closed now. Now we're going to put a folder inside of this folder, a new folder, and we're going to call this folder scripts. So I'm going to give it the name S-C-R-I-P-T-S, just like that. So now we have this empty folder inside of that Lightroom folder. The folder is called scripts. We're going to take this file that we downloaded from Adobe. By the way, when you download it, it will be zipped. So you're going to have to unzip it. So unzip it first. I unzipped it to my desktop. It's right here. It's called extractpreviews.lua. We're going to put it in that scripts folder. We're going to move it there. So it's in that folder now. Then close down your finder window or your uh, Windows File Explorer window. You're done with that. Now reopen Lightroom. Now what I found is Lightroom just takes a little longer to reopen. So you may not want to permanently leave that scripts folder there. Once you've recovered your images, you may want to get rid of it. Just make note of where your, you know, save the .lua file somewhere else so that if you ever have to do this again, you'll be able to do it. Now you'll see that it still says the file cannot be found. All right. It's not found, but you'll notice at the top, something has been added to the top menu. It's this little like scroll. Look, it's like a paper scroll. That's the scripts file that will extract the previews from the Lightroom catalog. So what you need to do is select all of the images in the film strip that you want the um, previews extracted from. 
So we have two images here. I'm just going to click on the first one, hold the control or command key, click on that second one. So they're both selected. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to click this little scroll. When we do a little menu opens and you can see that the second item or the bottom item is extract previews. We're going to click on that. It's going to ask us where, well, I'm going to put it to my desktop. And I'm going to put it in a folder called previews. You could call it anything you want or save it anywhere in your system. You're going to click choose. As soon as I click choose, you'll see on the top left-hand corner, it's, did it. It's done already. So we're going to minimize Lightroom. We're going to open up this previews folder that I just created. And you'll see that there are two JPEG images here. There's the one. And there's the other. And you'll notice if we look a little closer, if I am able to, let me go to a different view here. You'll see that it has the actual size of the preview. This one was taken with a full frame uh, camera. I believe it was a Sony camera, if I remember right, but I don't remember specifically. And it was a 9504 by 6336 preview. So that's a pretty large JPEG. This one was taken with a crop sensor, probably a Nikon D500, and that's 5120 by 3413. So that one's a little smaller, but it's still pretty large JPEGs right there. You can see one's 17.3 megabytes, the other one's 8.8 .8 megabytes. But at least you have something. So if you have those photos of Bigfoot that are going to make you famous and make you a millionaire, you could still extract the JPEGs from your Lightroom catalog and be able to share them with the world and go on all the talk shows and everything and become a household name all because I showed you how to use that little tool from Adobe to extract the preview from the Lightroom catalog. That's as easy as that. So thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.